Hello everybody, I'm Dan. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to display Hello World to the console by using a GPU parallel program. Uh, let's go ahead and open up our web browsers to my website, thegpu.com. We'll just click on Learn More and we'll scroll down here to the GPU Tutorials section here. Click on GPU Parallel Hello World. Now this simple program will display Hello World to the console, a little bit more than that too, but the screen output will be produced by the GPU instead of the CPU. Now before continuing with this tutorial, make sure that you have NVCC installed and configured properly, and here's the link to that. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is open the developer command prompt for Visual Studio 2015. I'm going to go ahead and move this off screen here. And let's go down here. And Visual Studio 2015 Developer Command Prompt for Visual Studio 2015. Not just any command prompt there. Okay, we'll do cd backslash. Uh, and it takes us to the root, make directory, CUDA. I already have that uh, subdirectory, but if you don't, I'll create it for you. We'll change directories to the CUDA subfolder and make a directory here called Hello World. Okay, uh, we'll change directories to the Hello World folder. We're gonna notepad plus plus hello world.cu for the CUDA program there, proper extension. We're going to create it, yes. All right, um, let's come back over here to my website. Here's where we're at right now. And let's grab all the source code here. You don't wanna see me type this in there, so we'll just go ahead and copy that and paste it over here. Okay, now I'm going to come up here and save this and talk just briefly about a couple of things here. Uh, pretty standard there. Uh, no need to talk about that. Here's our main function here, right? Now, what this is going to do, we're just going to do a simple printf, hello world from the CPU. This is all pretty standard here. And then I've got a for loop where it'll display it 10 times to the console. And then I've got this new line down here. And ignore what this is up here for the moment there. So what I'm, my, my strategy here is I'm just going to talk about normal, um, you know, straight line by line execution, serial execution, basically in a CPU there, not parallel. And um, then I'll show you how to do stuff, the same thing with parallel and how that works. So what we'll do first is do an MVCC, and I'm gonna take this as, you know, in really like baby steps as far as this is concerned here, initially there. And our output file, we'll just do hello world. We've got our hello world exe. We also have this exp file and a live file here. And I'll go in future tutorials, I'll go what those are there. So uh, just executing hello world, exactly what we would expect. Hello world from the CPU with a new line escape sequence there. All right, now let's say, for example, in a CPU type program, a serial program there, we want to display um, hello world 10 times, right? We have to go through a simple basic for loop, you know, other ways of doing it, but for loops by far the most common way. Hello world from the CPU. Uh, all fairly simple there. Just bear with me and we'll just recompile this again, rerun it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clear off my screen here and we'll just do the hello world exe and we've got it displayed 10 times to the console. All right, so what we're trying to do basically with parallel pro programming is we're trying to tap into the power of the GPU with all of its parallel processors and parallel threads, okay? And we define a parallel function right up here using this, this global tag right here. And then this looks like an ordinary C function, but it's in, in the world of GPU programming, it's called a kernel, K-E-R-N-E-L, right? And so this whole entire thing here, what looks like a you know, uh, a function here is basically called a kernel. I'm not going to get too in-depth into this hello world here, but we'll go ahead and comment this out, right? And if we come down here and uncomment this line of code here, I'm just going to save this real quick here. It, it looks like we're just um, basically executing, calling or invoking, whatever terminology you prefer, this output from GPU kernel, right? Function, per se. Without this funky looking syntax in between the, the name of the function, right? This makes it a kernel, okay? Now you got these triple chevrons open and closing there and then you've got basically two parameters that we're gonna talk about initially here. 
and I'll get into this a little bit more in future videos. These are actually a lot more, there's a lot more to them than what you're seeing right here. But basically we're telling it, we're gonna execute one thread on one block. Okay, so let's go ahead and compile that and see what happens there. Okay, clear our screen, compile, and run. And there we go, we got hello world from the GPU. Now technically at this point in time, you can see that uh, uh, you got what's called host and device, uh, hosts and devices, right? The host is the CPU and the device is the GPU. So the GPU actually executed this code here, but we called it from within the host device because in the main, this is just the standard main function here, the CPU called this. All right, so let's say, for example, we want to do the exact same thing as this for loop up here. So we're going to do, we're going to do one block, but we're going to do 10 threads, which will execute 10 threads simultaneously here on this, okay? Let's go ahead and save this. Um, recompile this. And rerun it there, okay? And now, as you can see, we have got Hello World from the GPU executed 10 times. And um, there's no loop or anything like that. We'll just take out all of the all of the CPU stuff that I threw in there. And this is as simple as the program gets right here. If we want to display this, uh, let's say 1K time, 1024 there to the console. Let's go ahead and save it there. This will open up 1024 threads. Each one of these threads will display this to the console there. All right. And um, bada bing, run that. <clears throat> and there we go. We've got 1,024 threads on the GPU, all displaying Hello World from the GPU. All right, um, as far as this tutorial goes, I think I'm going to go ahead and just uh, close out of that, close out of that, and uh, leave you guys with some, some simple thoughts, or some final thoughts here. So, you know, don't worry if the code doesn't make much sense, complete sense yet. I've got a lot to go over with, but... Um, and I'll, de I'll go over a detail in future tutorials, but the primary goal of this tutorial was just to give you a little taste of how a CUDA program, parallel program is structured. So anyway, uh, that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.